This is Pitata, a 60-year-old man married with four children. Peter is a native of Have Afia Denigba in the Volta region, but lives at Pobiman on the Accra in Sawam Road. He has been in police custody for over seven days as the Dodowa police prepares him for court on Thursday. Peter pleaded guilty to defiling a four-year-old girl who was sleeping at a construction site where her grandmother left her to get ice water for her customers. The suspect is lawfully in custody and will be appearing again in court, you know, to answer charges of um, indecent assault. The last time the news team visited the home of the four-year-old on December 28, her grandmother was very apprehensive. She didn't want access to the child, but the police, against her wish, took the victim to the police hospital, where she was thoroughly examined. The next day, December 29, when the police went back to check up on the victim, they were informed her grandmother had run away with her. It is very sad. Um, we put a lot of effort into this particular case. One, the grandmom failed even to take the child to the hospital. Police, we are look, seriously looking for this woman because it is not appropriate for her to do so. We believe that she wanted to undermine justice and uh, that opportunity need not be granted at all. So we'll go all length, you know, to trace her wherever she finds herself. So we decided to visit the victim's residence on Monday, January 7, 2014, to confirm whether she had indeed run away with the victim. It is unclear why a grandmother of a four-year-old girl who has been defiled by a 60-year-old will abscond with the victim just when the police is preparing the accused to appear before court. The police say it suspects the grandmother had been given a lot more money or had been threatened by the accused family. However, Superintendent Kwesifori is confident the victim's absence will not deter the court from punishing we have other witnesses in the case. We have other witnesses. You know, before even the case came to the police, the man admitted the offense and even paid, paid off. And those witnesses, we have some. And then when he came to the police station, also before an independent witness, he has admitted. So all these things are well documented and we will struggle it out there in the court. The police is, however, pleading with the general public to assist it in tracking the whereabouts of 48-year-old Alice Boahin, the grandmother of the victim. Join News will keep following this story until justice is done. Etonamsi, Join News.